everything dead and she all about the banks like Ashley. Uh. Hey guys, if you want to see how I got this super defined twist out, then just continue to watch. First, I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair into four separate sections. That way, it'll be a lot easier to work with to be able to flat twist the hair. Once your hair is all twisted up, then you're going to mix your water with whichever is your favorite conditioner in your water bottle. And you're going to spray that on your hair um, before you start putting your products. And I will have a list of all the products that I use for this video in, down below in the description box. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the ends of my hair and work my way up to the roots with spooning it on the product as well as the water and the conditioner because I tend to like to do that because it helps detangle my hair and it's just um, it just makes my hair feel really good and it's, it's a better way instead of starting from the root down it's always good to start from your ends up And I'm just smoothing out all of the products into my hair. Now I'm going to start flat twisting. What I'm doing is I'm taking two strands of hair and I'm just really overlapping them over each other. Um, as I grab the opposite piece of hair, I always smooth the end of my hair down. I don't know if you can really see it there. I'm going to show you in another clip, but I just overlap and keep overlapping and as I do that I make sure I smooth my hair down as well and you want to make sure that your twist is as flat and as close to your scalp as possible because that's going to give you a more defined look with your twist out and then once you get down to the bottom you're just gonna do the two strand twist all the way down and then you're gonna take your um, rod roller and you're gonna roll the ends of your hair I don't like rolling it all the way up I just roll literally the ends because I do still want to have um, my length and this is also on dry hair I usually wash my hair a day before and probably wear like two braids and just let my hair air dry before I style it that way I can get my full length and I don't have to worry about a whole lot of shrinkage um, right here, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm repeating and um, rotting the ends of it and so forth. Next, you're going to do the same thing to the other side that you did to the right, hand, the right side, the first side. And you're going to add all your products still. And as um, far as your oils, your butters, everything, you just want to add all that in. Get that smooth all through your hair to ensure that your hair stay healthy and moisturize in the process of doing this style and this time when you get ready to flat twist I twist away I twist going back as you can see and like I said I'm just overlapping um, each piece of hair just overlapping overlapping and as I overlap it I make sure I smooth my ends of my hair down and then soon you'll just start getting that flat twist and it'll be flat to your to your scalp and that gives you more of a defined look because your your roots is not so puffy and they actually get the twist out and then like I said once you get to the end you're just gonna two strand twist pull it really tight and then just two strand twist all the way down rot the end of it and that's it I have about 12 breaks you guys 12 twists in my head and this is the next day I went to sleep on it that night and then the next day I got up I took all the rods out and I began to unravel the twist when you're unraveling your twist you want to make sure that you're very careful as you do that as you see here I pull it apart and then I carefully unravel the hair and as I unravel the hair there's gonna be a third piece of a third strand of hair that comes out and you just want to make sure you take your time because you do not want a whole lot of frizz and typically when you rush you get frizz so just make sure that you unwind each piece 
and um, be very gentle with that third piece of hair that's coming out because that's where the defineness is coming from. And you just repeat that all the way up through the rest of the twist. Now I have all the twists out. I'm going to take my pick because I love volume. Your twist outs are never the right twist out without some volume. I mean, some people like it flat to the head, which is fine, but I like volume. So I am going to fluff, fluff, fluff. And you don't want to pull the pick through your curls, just at the roots. And I like to go through each section one by one and fluff. Because, yes, I like a lot of volume as much as I can get so to ensure that I'm not over fluffing or anything like that or under fluffing I go through each section and fluff it out with my pick to the ends of the curl I mean right before the hair starts to curl I do the same thing for the front and then to get rid of those parts that was in those flat twists I just take the pick through that now I'm going to take some edge control and lay those edges. I don't like it too late with my natural hair, but I do still get those flyaways. And I'm just really fixing it because natural hair is really what you make it in. And you have to work with what you got and fluff. Yes, honey, fluff. And that's the end of results. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and liked it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and don't forget to watch my last video if you haven't caught it yet.